Most Preferred Workplace 2022, an event organized by Team Marksman in Mumbai, was a platform to recognize a space that professionals spend most of their lives in, their workplace. Today, we bring you part two of the event, which was an eclectic mix of informative panel discussions, fireside chats, keynote addresses, and felicitation of companies who made employees their most precious asset. What do you think from an organization perspective is key to keeping your Gen Z's engaged and happy? Listening to the, your team, uh, speaking less but hearing their voice, uh, giving them freedom with an overview of the goals and not micromanaging them has worked, will work, will continue to work for time immemorial. Each individual is unique. I keep repeating this. Treat them, I treat them the way, what they bring to the table rather than what they are. The newer generation or the, the 2001 born generation, which we call the Gen Zs, they want to be able to do it all. They want to be able to have it all. And how does an organization then tailor you know, all their benefits, policies, practices, and ensure that their culture is one where you feel a sense of belonging, you feel included, and all your policies are equitable. All of this, I think, plays a really, really significant role to ensure that people stay on and people truly feel like work is an extension of my home. We made sure that, you know, at the end of the day, we are giving them what they want asking them to be a part of their journey with us. And we realized that over a period of two to three years, it's a fairly successful model that, you know, you allow them to do what they are doing. They are successful, that's why they have been acquired. And tell them that, you know, go ahead and absolutely without any fear, go, you know, do what you have been asked to do. So with that, uh, it's time to get the felicitation started. One-stop solution for all the construction materials. We're talking about Infra Market. First thing for every business leader is to have a very clear, articulated uh, vision about the business itself, right? And the direction in which the business is uh, looking to disrupt. If I give an example of InfraMarket, we are here to uh, completely transform the whole industry. You know, in a construction ecosystem operates in a particular way, has been operating a particular way for, you know, um, you know decades at least. Now we have a very clear um, vision around how we want to change it, how we want to create a significant impact in this. Now what this helps is, it helps us as a business, as well as the people that come and join us, um, to find an alignment in this vision. You know, they are here because they also have a, uh, you know, a clear impact that they want to create in the industry, in their own fashion, with their own skill sets that they want to bring to the table, right? So that articulation is very essential and also have a very well-defined uh, path and a journey plan that says, how do we go translate this? You know, having a grand vision is good, then how are we going to execute this? How would we have a very clear uh, path to getting to the destination where? And how each individual who's going to come and join this journey has a, a way in which they can um, uh, make their own personal success, uh, recognize their own uh, ways of contributions in this journey and ultimately of course get rewarded for the benefits that they would get as a result of having achieved uh, you know their dreams in different ways right at infra market uh, we are building a cohesive cultivating a cohesive culture a culture where there is uh, care and respect for people um, very clearly there is a very open door policy where people can approach leadership talk to them share their opinions we are building an organization, we are fostering an organization where we would like people to care about their health, their well-being. Um, we would want definitely that they should be in a position to grow personally and professionally with the organization and we take uh, great pride in saying that we are trying to foster such an environment. Um, clearly for us, it's people first. And uh, while the industry and while we grow, we are attracting people from diverse industries, uh, diverse organizations, we are building a very homogeneous culture. It's not about skills and competencies. It's about, about coming not just for a job, but to build a career with the organization. We want them to come and take ownership and build a career with us. And that's what we offer for them. As the organization is building up, uh, clearly uh, the differentiator 
the significant factor, the employee satisfaction, the employee experience is going to play a significant metrics in the success of the organization. So this award is testimony to the fact that uh, we as an organization, when we are moving in our transformational journey for an employee experience, this is going to be a great booster and a great encouragement for our, our, all our people who are our real assets. And the next brand that's being felicitated, let's hear it for Tanla Platforms Limited. We are so excited to be amongst India's most preferred uh, you know, workplace 2022 as awarded by Team Marksman. Thank you so much uh, for the honor. It's an incredible testament to our people uh, you know, and their dedication. Especially in these pandemic times, uh, you know, uh, seeing all that uh, uh, companies have to go through. We have always tried to nurture a workplace that maximizes the potential of our uh, uh, people. And uh, in doing that, I think we have, we have tried and maximized uh, you know, the uh, kind of solutions and the kind of products that we have worked on. This is built uh, you know, based on a very, very strong fundamental uh, of the value and culture that we have, which is people and uh, innovation focused. We've always put great focus uh, to strengthen our people practices and uh, uh, enhancing the uh, people experiences. And this is one such uh, you know, uh, proof that we are in the right direction. Thank you again. Our purpose, we are shaping the world of digital interactions for our customers and to enable our companies. We are right in the middle, uh, enabling companies and customers having trusted experiences and to make all that happen, I think people is an enormous uh, focus and uh, we are very happy that uh, you know, we are able to attract the right type of talent and deliver the right kind of services to our customers to uh, basically uh, achieve the promise that we have uh, made. May I now invite our next uh, organization on the stage, Sinjin International Limited. Building a great organization is not about what you see on the balance sheet. It's not about only revenue generation, nor is it only about growth, nor is it about customers just being satisfied and giving you repeat business. It's a mix of everything. Like Vineet Naya once said, employees first, customers second. Now we could have a lot of discussions whether this statement is right or wrong, but I firmly believe as leaders in any organization, one of the core aspects of being successful is on how much we understand the purpose of the organization. How aligned are we in ensuring that we have a clear line of sight on what the organization is trying to achieve. Today, if I have to give you a piece of advice on how you can change your organization and be considered to be as a preferred workplace, is to have a lot of empathy and make your decisions on core values, especially centered around integrity. It's not what your staff or your employees do when you are around. It is about what they do when no one's watching over them. This will create a sustained organization that others would want to follow suit. And what subsequent result of this would be that you become a preferred workplace because employees, like any of us, would want to work for an organization that they can trust, that they can build their careers with, and most importantly, that they can grow along. So if there was one advice to you, it would be base your decisions on core values of integrity. We are very humbled to be recognized by the industry for our HR practices. It's even more gratifying when it comes from a credible source such as Marksman Daily. It is a constant endeavor to ensure that our employees learn, adapt, and change to the ever-challenging work environments that we are in today. The pandemic over the last three years have taught us to be adaptable to the employee's needs, understand and recognize that there are scenarios that would come in for which you're completely caught unprepared. But what makes you stand out is the commitment that the employees have, a clear line of sight and vision that they have on what the organization is trying to achieve, and most importantly, it is their belief in what Sinjin is trying to do to a human life, make a difference. Can we have a round of applause for the next organization, Kirti Lal Kalidas Jewelers? The recognition is a tribute to our employees, our complete management team, 
who have worked so hard over the years to ensure that we are having a great culture of uh, openness, of transparency and thereby the main objective of meeting the needs of our patrons and exceeding the expectations of our patrons. We believe strongly that happy and satisfied employees will lead to happy and satisfied customers. The employees at the front end are our ambassadors representing our company in the eyes of the customers and we always try to ensure that whether it is the front end or the back end in manufacturing everybody has the passion and the joy of doing work. The approach that we have taken is always to create this culture where we are customer first. Uh, it really encourages our team to keep moving ahead and strive for greater heights. And now let me also invite the next organization, ladies and gentlemen, Heikel Limited. I think most employees or most of our colleagues want to work in an organization where they have the same value system, they feel comfortable, um, they have an uh, environment in which they can prosper and grow, uh, both personally as well as professionally. Um, at Heikel, we focus on creating brand ambassadors for the company, even prior to their joining the company. So we start very early on in the process and make sure that they are comfortable and one of the most important factors that we do as, an, as a company is to understand what our colleagues and our employees are looking for uh, in an organization. I think um, creating a sense of loyalty is very, very important for us. And it is our job, our responsibility, responsibility to ensure that they get the opportunity to not only perform the best at what they do in their jobs, but also have that opportunity to grow as individuals in a professional atmosphere. Let the felicitations continue as I now invite Danforth Industries Private Limited. We are a 20 year old company. Uh, you know, uh, we started as a very small organization, uh, putting a lot of focus on uh, people and customers. Uh, so, what we have achieved and the recognition that you have given us is really a very proud moment for us. Um, we put a lot of emphasis on uh, empowerment, trust, uh, and a lot of things that we do in Danfoss uh, helps an individual to run the business like his own. Um, frontline passion is something uh, we really promote as a very important behavior and a trait in Danfoss. Um, over and above all of this, actually, uh, you know, we actually provide an environment uh, which is extremely safe. Uh, um, and above all, I think uh, what we provide is uh, provide the ability of an individual to express himself in this organization. So I'm very, very proud of this recognition. And let's invite Yota Infrastructure. I'm super happy honored and humbled to receive this award today and I must thank uh, the entire uh, Yota team on this occasion because I think they are the one who has actually walked and witnessed this journey uh, you know where we have reached today secondly my super terrific team the HR team who has put the people's agenda in front of you know every uh, activity what we do or every intervention we drive Driving and leading with empathy, love and care has you know, made us achieve this today. Finally, uh, our co-founder and CEO, Mr. Sunil Gupta, who is putting people at the center of every decision making, partnering, creating uh, you know, India's most preferred brand today, you know, making Yota as inclusive and inclusive and admirable brand was my dream and you know, which is coming true today. So three cheers to all Yotaites and thank you so much uh, for you guys to acknowledge us as most preferred workplace of India. Let's move ahead and invite Zwork Manufacturing 
to please come on stage. Really proud uh, and honored of collecting this award on behalf of 1,000 plus Jet Setters. Uh, truly the folks who stand behind the overall mission about the organization and actually the high retention rate which we have as an organization substantiate the fact, the kind of trust which all the employees have continuously put in in regard to the overall growth story and the business model of the organization. And what we try to do continuously is to ensure that their effort has been recognized and that's exactly the reason why then continuously they stay with the organization for a longer period, longer years, uh, to get opportunities to grow within the organization. That's on the first side of it and uh, continuously there is an effort from the employees to give their 100% and we strive to ensure that the result has been given back to them to ensure that they stay with us and take, you know, participate in the larger vision of the organization. Ladies and gentlemen, up next, let's invite Pearl Global Industries Limited. Our goal as promoters is to hire who we feel can do the job better than us. We want people who are highly driven, self-motivated, and have an inter entrepreneurial spirit in them. Every country team has to be driven in the business as is their own. Once we have the right team in place, it's all about building a world-class ecosystem for them to flourish and beat the competition. This we do through constant support, engagement, and motivation, both emotional and monetary. This is through a culture of constantly challenging ourselves and being restless and always being nimble as a company. And I would say the most important thing in our company is the customer facing and putting the customer first and building mutual trust and your loyalty, both internally and externally. And I believe it makes us a place where people feel it's their own, a place where they will flourish, grow and call, their home, call it their home. Let's hear it for Zagal Prepaid Ocean Services. At Zagal, we have always wanted to build a workplace where you not only get to work on challenging problems, but also feel happy doing it every single day. The idea of uh, developing an environment that fosters innovation, collaboration and work-life balance has been the guiding principle in our growth. We want all our employees to feel valued by their work and encouraged to be their best selves every day. We want them to have fun at work, but we also want them to be committed and focused on doing great work for us. This is how we have built Zagal, by believing in our people, their passion and their ability to do great things together. Let's also go ahead and honor the next organization, Garda Chemicals Limited. Thank you very much for declaring us the most preferred workplace 2223. This recognition to Garda Parivar reasserts the founding principles and the mission of the company being using knowledge to create products for the benefit of society and its positioning within the Parivar. Our founder, chairman, managing director, Dr. K.K. Garda, is a scientist of global repute and is ranked amongst the best in the world. Therefore, the genesis of is knowledge and the basis for our business is also knowledge. Our founding principles are based on Jnana Yoga and Karma Yoga. Apart from the knowledge, our people are our biggest asset and it is our endeavor to take care of the family as one. Our Parivar's belief is based on a principle of a large family working towards a common goal. Therefore, the award re-energizes the brand, its embodiment of its beliefs and the association of knowledge and its act of collective functioning besides the recognition that it gives. We need to have a special round of applause for Medica Super Specialty Hospital, the next brand that's being felicitated here as the most preferred workplace 2022. Medica Super Specialty Hospital or the Medica Hospital Group uh, started around 12 years back. And uh, we started it primarily to serve people. And uh, we right now have around 5,000 plus employees 
across five hospitals. And uh, we have around 1,000 plus beds which we cater to. I think uh, the thing about HR in hospital is most important because as you know, hospital industry is very, very uh, capital and manpower intensive. And when we've gone through this pandemic time of COVID, we've realized that nothing was more important than our own people. And uh, it uh, is really, really uh, a very happy moment that uh, we've been recognized for this, uh, for having a good workplace. Uh, majority of our people who work are women. Almost like I would say 85% of our manpower is women. The most important component in whatever we do is our people. And we are very happy to have got this recognition after 12 years of hard work. So they are the real talent, they are the real people who make or break the industry. And such kind of recognition really helps motivate them and helps them get energized. It will also help us as a medican to become more empowered, more enabled to handle the patient care and satisfaction in a different level. Being recognized is also a matter of joy. It's a great thing for the HR department also because it will also help us now retain the talent, what we have, probably extract more talent from outside since now we are at the national platform. With the award ceremony, Most Preferred Workplace 2022 came to a fruitful close with insightful and innovative takeaways on improving workplaces by companies that have understood the importance of enhancing the professional environment.